We've got some credits to go through first. Oh look, everyone has black umbrellas. Yep. Everything is very much uh, gray and rainy. And French. Everybody is French. Aw, look at that kid. So cute and alive. <laughs> Not like Jason. Grocery and video shop? What? Wow. They... I like how it suddenly turned all industrial and horrible instead of all... green and... Um... What? What is that kid doing in the background? Uh, yeah, um... Well, it used to be that he owned that house in the middle of the suburbs, and it was perfect and beautiful. And, uh, I guess... Things haven't been going so hot now. So, um, Ethan's moved into the actual heart of the city. Mm-hmm. Like, the, the transition makes sense. Once it actually stops being a, uh... Credits roll? Yeah. You know... Oh, that was weird. Hmm? Uh, the kid in the background, his shadow was placed, like, three feet to his left. Oh. Wow. Game logic manager. Where are we? I like the police coats. Um, well, okay, we're... T I think this is supposed to be modeled after Philadelphia. And we are in the far distant year of 2011. Right. That, yeah. Well, the game came out in 2010, so 2011 was in the uh, future at the time. Um, again, I would suggest saving up some of those what's. Yeah. So just remember, this takes place in 2011. Hi, Sean. Hi, Dad. It, it's also uh, two years later, so now Sean is ten years old as well. Hmm. Parallels, man. I am watching you, child. Mm-hmm. But one of the things I tried to do at one point was just leave. Like, you know, he gets in the car and then just walk away. Mm-hmm. Invisible walls. Aww. It's always sad when there's invisible walls. I guess leaving you to press kid in the car would be kind of sad, too, but... Oh, well. There will never be sunshine again. Not after mm -hmm. Jason dies. Okay, did they just fall on super hard times, or did they, like, spiral into depression and not do anything? He suddenly went from... Um, it's well never really explained. Like, I mean, I... It doesn't say anywhere that he lost his job as an architect, and this is still a pretty huge apartment for a guy who's supposed to be, you know, poor. I mean, huge. There's an upstairs, like, two bedrooms, two baths. So, In the middle of Philadelphia, you wanna talk a that's little not cheap. I don't know about you, your friends. 
how things were going. Nothing special. But maybe, uh, maybe Grace got the house, the divorce. Yeah. How are things at school? Is your teacher nice? Everything's fine, Dad. It's time for your snack. Are you hungry? I guess, uh, a little. Oh, Let's and li- listen to kitchen. Ethan's voice as the game goes on. Um, he's very clearly not American. Mm-hmm. And his accent just slips more and more as this keeps going. <laughs> Here, Sean. Here's your snack. Thanks, Dad. Now, let's watch TV about Pirates. cartoon characters cutting off each other's heads. Yes. I have to admit, um, the, the cartoons going on in the background, probably the most interesting thing happening in this scene. Doubtlessly, as a matter of fact. There are a couple more cartoons that are going on. I think all of them are taken from a French um, film school as, like, final animation projects. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you could actually find them online at some point. I'm not sure if they're still up. They're kind of neat. You could also just stand here and watch them instead of watching your kid. Oh, watch this. The origami killer strikes again. Oh. And he. Uh, some victim identified. What is your and, yep, type? This sure is the origami killer. And he puts it down and backs away like it just caught on fire. <laughs> like, oh my god. Hey, why don't you go outside and leave your kid in the house alone? It actually won't let you. But you can go for the mail. I'm surprised there wasn't like a five step QT to do that. <laughs> when the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them, they cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. That was a terrible poem. It really was. Oh well. So, um, are we gonna get to, uh, like, see the address on that envelope or anything? Cause, uh... Uh, no. No, I... Th- no, I can't actually, uh, explain that. I feel like the return... What do you say we play together for a while? I yeah, the return address would be interesting, but... I think that it might have just been placed in the, uh... In the mailbox. Still, what? Local. I would have been scrambling trying to find that. Well, you notice how he freaked out at the newspaper story, but then he read that creepy poem and is just like, eh, whatever. There's no beverages in the fridge anymore. That is a sad fridge. There are beverages, just well, like beer and orange juice. Yeah. Like, if, you know, you replace the cake with, like, pizza. Sad pizza. Yeah, that is pretty sad pizza. There's still orange juice! But There's you're not still drinking orange it. juice. You can't drink it, actually. Oh, um... Kinda glossed over it, but dinner? there's a little no, schedule for Sean. In the back. Sean, do you wanna um, do your homework now? Please, Dad, let me watch TV a little while longer. No. We'll do it later, okay? Oh, yeah, that, that. I think we should just get right to it. Then it's yeah. done and out of the way. Yeah, it's a little now, blackboard get your bag with uh, and get set up some in the white chalk on it. Because I'll help you. For some reason, he's using a blackboard and chalk. Anything oh, else? You... Would... <laughs> you can just watch these two. I think anything else would have been too colorful. Probably. Oh, that poor pirate. There's actually a a, uh, a little achievement yeah. connected to being able to um, properly 
feed and water Sean. Make sure he gets his homework done on time. I pressed the wrong button. Can you appropriately take care of a child? Kinda, yeah. I'm I'm not sure if I actually did it on this particular run, because I already have the trophy, so it's not gonna pop again. Mm-hmm. But I did stare at him creepily a lot. Also, uh, if you're seeing any screen tearing, mm -hmm. that wasn't part of the recording, the game just does that. Okay. Oh yeah, super laundry action. Dad, I'm finished. Can I go watch TV? Let me check your work first, child. Yep. Let me have a look. Pretty good. Looks like you're done. <laughs> Off you go. Even Sean looks surprised at that. I, d I did it! You can also stare at this clock to make sure you're on time. Oh, here. The uh, split screen? Yeah. It's artistic. It's... Why I really can't putting... say cinematic because real films don't do that. Why are you putting your backpack on to get to the couch, kid? I can't answer that. I'm not sure why the game made us go into a split screen to see him putting it on, too. It's way too early for dinner. But it's never too early to go to the bathroom. Your child sneezed, he must be dying. Yes. You've got a cold coming on. I'm gonna see if I can find some medicine for you. O okay, um... Now, I know this isn't the same for everybody, but where do you keep your medicines? Because mm, we've got... Well, we've got, like, a little cabinet of them in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Which is, you know, about the center of the house, easy enough. Um, for some reason, Ethan keeps them in the upstairs bathroom. All the way in the back of the upstairs bathroom. You know, for easy access. Uh, it's not really surprising. Like, I feel like a lot of people keep things in the bathroom. I mean, you call it, like, usually... Oh, like, no, no, I, I understand keeping things in the bathroom, but why would you have to go all the way up the stairs to get your leave? Well, if you don't have a downstairs bathroom, like... He does. Oh. Then again, it might just be a downstairs toilet. Hey, your kid didn't run off! <laughs> Amazing. No, he's too sad to run off anymore. Here, take this. It'll make you feel better. Just Thanks, it. Dad. Just take this- just dry swallow this unnamed pill I gave you. Oh yep. yeah, I'm really hungry. Okay, I'll go see what I can find. I'll call you when it's ready. I'll go see what I can find. I have no idea what my kitchen has. It's also really awkward to navigate. Oh yeah, our our choices here are like a lean cuisine thing, or the sad pizza. Wow. Let's... So anyway, if you ever wanted to simulate the um, desperation of daily life, this is the game for you. Also, that is the world's fastest uh, microwave. Jeez. Well, he only he, he did it for what twenty seconds instead of like the recommended four minutes. Yeah, but it went off after three. Yeah.
Sadly, I don't know what happens if you screw up that QT and everything just goes all over the table. You can come now, Sean. Your meal is ready. I really hope that's what happens, actually. I really feel like right, the feeling of this section is more like you have a pet than a child. Yeah, the um, the little schedule up there really makes it seem like you're taking care of one of those little uh, Tamagotchis or something. Make sure it's fed, make sure it exercises, give it a snack. Like, you're not eating with your child, you're just sitting at the table staring at it while he eats. Oh man, we're gonna do some juggling. Well. Now my child will love me. I was once in a circus. Hey, Dad, I didn't know you could juggle. I haven't tried it in a long time. You know, ever since your brother you died. You think you could teach me too? Sure. I'll show you if you like. Now my child loves me. Well, that was a nice four seconds of emotional bonding. Yeah. Too bad it's over. Yeah. Now it's back to creepy staring. Daddy, why didn't you get to get me the psychiatric help I needed? I killed another small animal today. I'd play that game. Sean Mars, bird killer. Well, I'm out. Oh, the kid does his own dishes, too. Well. Put it in the sink. Eh, that's close enough. And then he gets lost in the kitchen just like Dad. Aww. So I'm getting all sorts of flashbacks to how frustrating this is. If you're actually trying to take good care of the kid, you can't really wander off and interact with things because you might miss your um, your little opportunity to, you know, take care of him. Mm. Which means that this is really boring. Right. Oh, I'm glad I did that. I mean, it basically feels like a time-wasting mechanic right now. Well, I Come get, on, Sean. I get the concept bed. behind it. You know, you're supposed to. Can I step a little longer? You're supposed to try and form some kind of emotional bond. No, that's bond. not very reasonable, is it? You have school tomorrow. You have but to the way this is uh, right, set up, it's either you take you care of the kid, me? but don't you don't get to TV, actually on your do anything, I'll come mm -hmm. or you properly explore this level, but then your kid doesn't like you. I mean, I guess um, it would have been better if it was either more contracted, mm -hmm. so that you, you didn't feel like you were um, wasting your time just wandering around, or you had more time between things, which would have the opposite problem. You'd just be stuck here for a lot longer, but you'd have a chance to actually interact with the various devices. Yeah, because they've put in a, it looks like they've put in a lot of stuff you can... Tinker with, at least. Yeah, there's also a bunch of things upstairs, including, um, I'm afraid I didn't see it because I completely forgot it existed, but there's, like, this little hidden video room where he's got home movies of Jason, and while Sean is downstairs, you can have him go up there and then just watch the Jason movies and get really depressed. Oh, that's cool. It is. It also has a kind of nice, um impact that I think it takes up most of your time. So while he's up here mourning over Jason, he's neglecting the son that's actually alive. Yeah. What was on that picture? Oh, um, Sean's been making pictures of the car accident. And 
haven't decided to get your child to... Anyone, have you? Well, in fairness, um... Good night, Sean. My they teddy! Have... I haven't got my teddy, Dad! You must have left it somewhere in the house. Well, he's, he's got some issues that be? I don't no, think Dad. can be taken care of too easily from psychologists. Him. But, um, they've got, like, split visitation All rights. Alright, I'll have a look around and mm -hmm. see if I can find it, okay? And I don't, I don't really know how long Ethan has Sean at any given point. It might just be a couple days out of the week. In which case, Grace isn't getting him the, the attention he needs either. So really, the kid doesn't have a chance. Yeah. Pants. No, I think it's a coat hanging up there. Might be pants, though. I like the idea that he's the sort of person that just keeps a pair of pants hanging in his... You never know when you need them. Thanks, Dad. Good night, Sean. Night. Dad? Yeah? Why do you look so sad? I think I just need some time. To get back to the way things were. You know, Dad, what happened to Jason wasn't your fault. I tell you night, this Sean. every night, Dad. <laughs> he might. I do kind of like this, though. I mean, it's not, um, it's not like Tamagotchi pet taking care of. It's just really simple little things mm -hmm. to put your kid to bed. Walked away, uh, origami killer time? <laughs> no, it's time for a seizure. See, Ethan's the guy that doesn't read those seizure warnings at the beginning of games. Dog. It's a tiny paper dog. It's pretty cute. I guess this answers the question about how Jason got his predilection to just kind of wander off to the middle of nowhere. Okay. Oh, uh, these are the loading screens, by the way. Just a giant face. Ah. I um I edited them out of most of the videos after this. I just really need to show off the fact that this is what you get when you're loading. Just a giant face. It makes me feel uncomfortable. It, it shows you the next character you're going to be playing, but it's it's a little disconcerting. Bells. Nope, can't say it does. Seven, was that the same paper, Seven Victim? I believe so. Take me still. Uh, oh, yeah. that Lauren Winter. Oh, uh, nice porn book Third there, too. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. Wow. Oh. 
Five bucks if you, to keep bribe. Yeah. If you couldn't tell, this is the CD motel. This is a CD motel. With what, the hard bitten cop? Ah, uh, yeah, with the hard bitten PI. <laughs> Not cop. Sorry, yeah, PI. Eye. You can tell because he's got a dirty trench coat. Mm hmm. And an inability to open doors. The the game glitched out and would not let me interact with that the door that I actually need to interact with. <laughs> Until I heard that man dying, apparently. Yeah, I'm sure he's fine. Lauren Winter? Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. She also doesn't wear pants, ever. Well, CD Motel. Put I guess, but... You got oh, this exactly is a huge room! When the alarm rings, it's over, okay? You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Oh, shit, a cop. I should've known. Hey, what hey, do you want? Private eye. Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. I understand, Lord. I know what you're going through. Oh yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. There'll be other victims if we don't stop the killer. You have got to help me, Lord. You may know something that can aid the investigation. Help you? There's nothing you can do! My son's dead, do you hear me? He's dead! Other people have dealt children too. Uh, yes. If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. I... But, but, but you're right! Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? What? So two things. Um, for some reason, that dialogue option was called trick, even though that's completely true. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is that uh, Scott Shelby is by yeah, far the best acted character in the game. Yeah. Um. Did Johnny live with you? Yes. Yes. Of course, I made sure he never met any of my clients. I wanted to stop, you know. We needed the money. I was trying to earn enough to get us out of here. Um, How did your son disappear? He used to go play with the neighborhood kids after school. It was pouring down something awful that day. I'll never forget it. All his friends came home around five. All except him. You want one? No thanks, I quit. That's brave. Oh, and uh, you while you're anyone after between you dialogue options, you have the ability to I just lean on things. Characters in that line of work. <laughs> sure, I thought of it at first. I mean, I, I guess it keeps you doing things, seeing how many but it didn't objects seem to make in the any sense. room you can lean on. I don't believe any of my clients could have done that to my Johnny and all those other kids. Tell me about Johnny. What kind of kid was he? Johnny was really a good boy. Sometimes. 
He fought with other kids who called me a, you know. In his own way, I think he understood what was going on. Time's up, Mr. Shelby. I hope you got what you wanted. Now get out of here. Wow, that's a bit of a turnaround. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you actually can fail the opening dialogue tree and just have her kick you out immediately. Mm-hmm. No more information. Which is kind of nice. If you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. It doesn't impact anything except, um, her talking about Johnny a little bit more, but, uh, I guess it's a nice touch. Yeah, is that a knife stuck in the... It might have been. Okay. She plays really intense darts. Um. <laughs> oh, right. Um, so David Cage had this concept where each of the uh, playable characters was flawed in some way to make them human. Mm -hmm. Except he doesn't understand what the concept of a character flaw is. So, um, he just made them like physical flaws. Oh. Shelby has asthma. Lord. Ethan has those weird blackouts. Open up, baby. It's me. Troy, what are you doing here? I already told you. You know, like normal people. Anymore. Sorry, Dal. Right. But I really wanted to see ya. Um. Incidentally, you could just leave after that happens. You start hearing her scream. Eh, whatever. Does that impact gameplay? What do you want, asshole? Um, Lauren, it doesn't. Is everything all right? Lauren winds she's up more swell. beat up. Now beat it, loser! Like when you see her, she's when you see her next, she's uh, bruised. But it doesn't you actually again? impact gameplay. Oh. oh. Speaking of gameplay, here's an actual fight scene. Well then. Yes! Now this uh, this fight is still kind of tutorial mode. Mhm. Mm so, I mean, I um, I did it perfectly this time. But even if you don't respond to any of the QTEs, it doesn't really matter. Oh, no! Like it looks like you know if you're not gonna respond properly, Shelby's gonna get gutted, or he's gonna get thrown into the thing. Or he's gonna have his face thrown to a hot stove or something, and it seems like it'd be really, really intense, but it's not. Uh, the game kind of has him like whiff his his attacks, or Shelby evades them automatically. I, at the end, I think he just kind of comes out of this a little more winded. But it just it doesn't matter. You get a different set of animations, but the exact same result. I'll see you again, asshole. Are you alright? Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. Oh. oh. And somehow he didn't have an asthma attack after the fight.